Dear learner, we are going to design a complete five-story building. Uh, here is our floor plan, and this is our uh, beam column layout. So uh, I will add this drawing to our website. You will be able to download it from our website, no problem. So before starting, just download this uh, document. I mean, in uh, AutoCAD file, this link uh, will be available, and uh, also download another thing its name is a uh, design parameters okay f x l h design parameters go to our website then uh, go for the resources and you'll get there okay so now uh, first of all we'll define everything as we have completed previously and if you new here i'll just click here new then click on this option so if you new here i'll request to pause our uh, previous lectures that are available in our playlist so first of all what we'll do we'll change we'll go to tools then uh, job preferences and from here we'll change our unit okay so uh, this unit all of our unit are same and i'll not change anything then i'll go for materials here our uh, predefined materials is also available you can uh, select it and also you can change it but uh, if you new here I'll, again i'm requesting you please also our previous lecture um, i mean our base, basic tutorials this first then come here okay and uh, everything are selected everything is selected so i'll just go okay now what we'll do we'll go for beam column layout or grid system so if we come here you can see here is our beam column layout okay here is our beam column layout so first of all i will uh, create that in x direction in x direction we have um, okay in x direction we have a uh, three grid 11 feet 7 inch and 13 feet 11 inch so i'll come here then click here for grid and in x direction our first value or our first grid will be in zero right then our second second grid will be after uh, how much distance uh, we have to provide here so it's 11 feet and 7 inch Seven divided by twelve, so eleven point five eight three three. Eleven point five. Eleven point five eight three three. And uh, this is the position, second position here. Now we'll go for the, or you, you can click here. You can click here, and. Uh, by clicking here then you can give here repeat one and here you can provide distance so um, after this position i mean after two grid number two we need uh, we have another grid this is 13 feet and 11 inch 11 divided by 12 that means 0 0.966 9 on 66 13.9 on second uh, distance will be 13.9966 that's it mm. i'll delete it so first of all is this is the total distance okay for grid one two and three now i'll go for y so in y direction or first level i'll change this level it will be a b c d first one will be one then after a okay after a i'll go for next number of repeat will be one and what will be the distance here our uh, distance will be here 12 feet and 4 inch that means 12.33 
add then what will be the next distance 3 feet 9 inch that means 3.75 3.75 75 and we need two grip like that okay 3.75 3.75 now we need another grid after e yeah i mean after 3.75 it's dp will be one and its uh, distance is here 13 feet and 5 inch 13 feet 5 inch so 5 uh, 5 divided by 12 0 0.4 on 6 0 0.4 on 6 that means 13.4 on 6 sorry 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 it will be 1 and it will be 13.4 on 6 done done then i'll click will not provide anything in that direction i'll click apply close so here here our grid are ready for our next work now i'll go for our s3 level so here you can see only base and s3 one is available now i'll go for our next step so what will be the next step i will come here to draw our step i'll click here stories and from here we'll be able to add stories to draw it i will click here structural stories that option then our base level will be in zero zero it's already set then go define automatically or fast floor so i'll uh, delete it i'll delete it and uh, this height will be let's say six feet for our ground floor footing to ground floor at i'll change its name it will be gf ground floor okay now i will provide 10 and it will be total 4 okay and click add so from gf to on on story 2 story 3 story 4 story uh, i need one again so 5 story and also i need uh, another height with 8 feet for terrace okay so this one will be roof and here and here here it will be terrace that's it apply you can see the total height here here all height is available so from six feet six to one on a story two a story three a story four a story and after four uh, till roof it's five a story and he, here we have a terrace that's it apply and close so if you click here or if you see here this everything every uh, story is available now we'll go for floor plan so first of all i will create floor plan for our a story i mean for our ground floor so in our ground floor actually where you will draw your column you have to go there so here uh, our story uh, oh, i mean we are now available in ground floor now we'll start drawing columns we'll click here in columns and from here i'll select rcc column here on column is available i'll click here and from here choose the materials property i will change it to 3.5 as per your requirement you can change it rcc column and its size will be 12 into 12 four corner column column will be 12 into 12 and its name will be c1 12 into 12 okay click add you can see this have been added and another i'll take another column name will be 2 and its size will be 12 into 15 and depth will be 15 add and i'll take another column for middle position three and its size will be let's say 15 into 15 
15 into 15 then add and close so here everything is available okay now if i click here in that option in height and everything is okay first of all i'll provide the corner column before that i'll go to our floor plan so here we have a column at middle position in that level we have a column and uh, he, here and here we have uh, two column here and one column is here and in corner column i'll provide to, uh, 12 into 12 Okay. now uh, i'll click any of that position okay i'll click any of that position or you can click here then it will add your specific column again click here click here and yeah okay so our corner column is okay now i'll go for our next column our next column will be uh, 12 into 15 and i'll provide this column here 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 and we'll provide another column 15 into 15 it will be placed here okay so. okay then now uh, i have little bit confusion that this column is okay i'll click here and i'll check this column is uh, actually 15 into 15 or not so for column section basic i'll click dimension so this column is not 15 okay it's uh, 15 into 12 it's not 15 it's 15 into 12 so what i'll do uh i can change its value but by clicking here uh, here you will get option like materials sorry here you will get option member section and you can see the uh, member section uh, c3 here we have taken a member section and uh, i'll just delete this member section and i'll click apply and close select that to delete it again go here for column will go here then uh, i'll change it save to 15 into 15 and it will be c3 okay we'll modify it and i'll click okay sorry i'll click close now again go where you want to place it here and here now it's see now it's okay okay uh i'll close it now we'll provide beam here so to draw beam i'll click here rcc beam and no beam is available here i'll click for section our concrete will be 33.5 and here our beam will be uh 12 into 15 it will be great beam gf gb great beam okay and i'll click add i'll take another beam 10 into 15 it will be fb1 uh its name will be 10 into 15 add and it's i'll change its name to 10 into 18 and i'll change it here 18 add and close now first of all in ground floor we'll provide grade beam i have considered this size it can be uh, increase or decrease after proper design so i'll click here and here and you can see uh, after drawing that it's stopped i'll click drag for continuous drawing
plus sorry click here uh, i mean a stop drag then from this point to this point and a stop drag and here a stop drag again click this point to this point a stop drag rest a stop drag and then stop it again click this point to this point and from this point to point that's it it's done close it and if we go in 3d view you can see our section is okay now uh, in our next section i'll go for floor beam drawing and then uh after completing our floor beam sorry uh, our first floor uh, modeling then we'll go for a staircase and then we'll replicate we'll apply all of our load then we'll replicate our model and finally we'll go for uh, final analysis and design